Welcome to Rocky Broad Solar, where we encourage you to make the current flow. On today's episode, we're going to be installing the screen in our Flex Boss 21 here, so that in the event that we lose internet, the ability to monitor the system on the app, we're going to have this nice, pretty little LCD screen to look at. Let's get into it. All right, so this is what comes in the box. You got your screen. You've got this little bracket here. It looks like that can screw into the back. And then maybe you can hang it from a little hook. I kind of like that idea, but uh, it seems odd. To me, it doesn't seem like we quite have enough room here with these harnesses to, you know, hang it outside of the inverter somewhere. Uh, we're gonna investigate that. I would almost prefer that over having it on the inside of the cover. But um, yeah, we'll have to see it. Just, I, I don't see that being quite long enough. Maybe so, maybe it'll be just long enough. Uh, comes with, uh, again, two of these little um, harnesses. We've got these two connectors, and then we've got these uh, 3M uh, little brackets. I think you're gonna put two on the back of that, two on the inside door to Flex Boss, and they sort of lock into each other uh, to where it would hold that. Uh, screen over there to the back of the door on the flex boss. second one here it seems like we just have one big harness but um, I'm not really sure why we have two doesn't come with instructions and I've only been able to find one little short on YouTube uh, that you know shows somebody installing it on the inside of the door I guess that is pretty long let's see here all right, so we're gonna shut everything down so that uh, we're nice and safe in here. Let's start with the switches. Next with the breakers. Disconnect the battery. Let's disconnect our PV conductors. Uh, I would go ahead and just hit that flex boss breaker off in the grid boss and turn all this off, but uh, I'm afraid that is going to kill my ring light. Uh, tell you what, actually I can do it with the grid bypass, so let's go ahead and do that too. Good now to uh, go ahead and work on this. Everything's dead. Get your little harness right there. Get plugged in. There's a little zip tie here. Again, and I, I couldn't find an instruction manual on this. It's probably somewhere uh, within the EG4 documentation. I just couldn't find it. And on the short, I couldn't really see what was going on exactly. You'll see there's two different connectors here, a black one and a light gray one. And I really, you know, it's not very clear to me the connectors I am working with currently are black. I mean, this honestly looks like it here, the smaller one. Maybe we'll just go with that. I think that might be the ticket. All right, 
now we're going to flip everything back on and see what happens. Oh, I like the look of that. That screen's lighting up. All right, hopefully that's coming in clear. I had to go ahead and turn off the ring light in order to uh, stop having such a horrible reflection there in the camera. I'm gonna go ahead and flip all the uh, batteries back on and the PV conductors. All right, instantly showed the old battery coming online over there. We're sitting at 94%. Go ahead and kick on the PV, disconnect, cool, so yeah, it looks like all three strings are up and running, sending power to the battery. Uh, for whatever reason, we're importing 7 kilo, 0.7 kilowatts or 700 watts from the grid. Up, oh, and then I just saw notice turn to normal. Hopefully, it'll be switching over to the solar and batteries here shortly. Let's go ahead and uh, see what else we got here. Back. the grid boss breaker I don't really know what any of these other uh, faults are alarm status not really sure about that either to be honest I've had this system for a little while now and I haven't uh, really dived into the settings like I should really need to get a good grasp on that and make some good content but um, for now, I don't know what to say. I guess you can look at your solar parameters there. Each individual PV string, the voltage and power they are making. Same for the batteries. Of course, I got my nice little LCD screen on the batteries themselves because I have my indoor wall mount batteries. But I can see all that information here as well. Grid. Uh, looks like we're getting, uh, you know, roughly 120 on each phase. Importing 735. Again, I'm not really sure why. We should be running on solar and batteries, but it might just be because I turned everything off and on. May just have to give it a little bit of time. All right, looks like we're running on solar and batteries now. Again, I'm going to get into these settings a little more in a later video once I get a better grasp on them. But for now, I just love the fact that I've got a nice little screen here just in case I ever need it. And again, just so you're aware, this is made to slip through that black uh, plastic-like cover. Again, to make sure that all this dangerous stuff is covered. But I am going to have my inspection called here sometime in the next week. And I don't want to have to come through and take all my covers off and on again. So... For now, I just have all my covers off uh, so that when the inspector gets here, you can take a look at everything without uh, standing around waiting on me. Got an exciting announcement out there for all of you viewers. I got the first iteration of the Rocky Broad Solar Ultimate DIY Guide posted on my website. You can find my website link there in the description below or just type in www.rockybroadsolar.com. Go on there. You can say uh, click to download PDF and just download a free version of my DIY guide. It is the first iteration I'm going to be building on this uh, consistently over the coming years. Um, so just bear with me. If you go a month or two and you're out there DIY and go back to that website, check back in, see if we've got another version. Again, I, I plan to build it out to be kind of an encyclopedia of uh, installing solar and batteries yourself. 
in that DIY guide as well as down in the description below. There's going to be some coupon codes and some links where you might be able to save yourself a little bit of money on solar and batteries. Uh, hey, DIY is not for everyone. It does take a special someone to install this stuff themselves. A lot of people out there just don't have the time and energy to put into something like that. If you're looking for a professional installer out there to install solar and batteries on your home, go ahead down in the description below, click on our Rocky Broad Solar Intake form. You can fill out just a few questions about your specific scenario. We'll get back to you here within a few days with a zero cost pressure free quote. Well, everyone, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Till next time, take care.